Hi, I'm Fleur Barr. I've spent a lot of time in, in the past talking about cross-contamination and how uh, cross-contamination from um, <clears throat> ready-to-eat foods and raw foods, if they get mixed up, uh, can really make us very poorly. Now at the moment we're dealing with COVID-19 and viruses, which is a microbe, uh, very, very tiny, tiny, um, <clears throat> very tiny microbe and you can't see it with the naked eye. So what I'm going to do is a very simple, short demonstration on cross-contamination, on how very small things can transfer from um, from one object to something else and how it can make you ill. Most importantly, it needs to get into your mouth and you need to swallow it, or it can go through nose or eyes. But often, um, things that make us really poorly actually go through the mouth. So <clears throat> again, I'm gonna use red paint to demonstrate cross-contamination because you can't see it with the naked eye, these, uh, these harmful viruses. So, and I've got my door handle and I've got something to eat, okay? And you'll see how easy it is for something uh, to transfer from one surface to another um, and then comes into your mouth and once it's in your mouth, then you become poorly. So, uh, first of all, we're gonna get this door handle contaminated with what we're gonna say is uh, some harmful COVID 19 but it could be another pathogen could be campylobacter it could be a pathogen like campylobacter um you know food poisoning bacteria salmonella that you might have around the home um <clears throat> anything like that but uh at the moment obviously we're dealing with this horrible virus so let's see how we can we can get this uh into our home into our into our bodies so that we end up becoming really quite poorly so Let's say this is our door handle and maybe someone had touched it earlier on uh, outside the house and maybe we popped out and came back in again and uh, it could be a contaminated handle in the home. So it's on my hand now. And I'm in the home and I'm carrying on touching different surfaces and unfortunately they're getting contaminated. Now I want to have something to eat because we know that you've got to in ingest it um, or has contact with this sort of area, so nose and eyes. So I'm now going to um, start peeling this, um, this satsuma. It was quite hard peeling a satsuma without touching all of it. And then I'm going to start eating bits of this satsuma. I'm not actually going to do that, but you can see that pretty much all of that satsuma ends up getting contaminated. And that's got to get into your mouth. You then digest it. And this is how vi viruses and harmful bacteria get into our body. It's one of the ways it gets into the body and can make us really poorly. So when you see people talking about hand washing, um, they're talking about perhaps washing for a really long length of time or longer than what perhaps you would normally do a quick rinse okay I won't go through that again but what I will emphasize to you is the importance of hand drying so drying your hands is just as important as washing your hands because wet hands uh, can spread really harmful viruses and bacteria so people often focus on the hand washing but what I will also like to emphasize that I haven't seen a lot of um, <clears throat> is the importance of hand drying okay so that doesn't mean a quick shake or wiping it on your trouser legs um, it means ideally um, with disposable towels but you can use clean tea towels if you want so this is how harmful bacteria or viruses can spread so that's exactly cross-contamination um, how it can get into us by eating it and how it, it's really important to wash our hands properly uh, and most importantly make sure as well as washing them well using antibacterial soap that you dry them well thank you very much stay safe